Hello, this is Daniel Thomas Andrew Daly. This is a Noahide sermon, The Sons of Lamech. The Sons of Lamech. Now, I'm talking about Lamech in the line of Cain. Not Lamech in the line of Seth. Now, I'll read this from Genesis chapter 4. Cain knew his wife, and she conceived and bore Enoch. And Enoch built a city and named it Enoch after his son Enoch. To Enoch was born Irad, and Irad was the father of Mahujael, and Mahujael the father of Mephushael, and Mephushael the father of Lamech. There we have it. Lamech took two wives, the name of one was Ada, and the, other, and the name of the other Zillah. Ada bore Jabal. Jabal. He was the ancestor of those who live in tents and have livestock. His brother's name was Jubal. He was the answer of all those who played the lyre and the pipe. Zillah bought Tubal-Cain, who made all kinds of bronze and iron tools. Sister of Tubal-Cain was Nehemiah. Now, I'm sure it's occurred to many people, this, this idea, this thought has probably occurred to many people, that the way that's written, he was the ancestor of all those who such and such. It gives the impression that people in the modern world, or at the time of the writing of that passage, were um, descended from those figures. But of course there's a flood, isn't there? So how could that ancestry live on? Cain's line died out. Now, we don't really know if Jabal and Jubal and Tubal Cain's seed went through the wives of Noah and his sons, or whether they they had matrilineal interrelationships with the Noahite seed, the Adamite seed. We don't really know that because we have no ancestral records. But I'd like to point something out on right here. Jabal was the ancestor of those who live in tents and have livestock. Now, this is given as Cain's line. So presumably it, it died out in the flood. After the flood, all mankind just about had livestock. Not, well, not all of them, quite a lot of mankind had livestock and tents, including Abraham. Abraham's people had livestock and had tents. They definitely had tents. And if we see it here, Jabal is the ancestor of those who live in tents and have livestock. Now Abraham's descended through Seth and not through Cain. So the context is indeed of its time one must assume that he's the ancestor in that time for that period of the community which had livestock and tents. That community died out of the flood but the knowledge of those things Noah had knowledge of most likely and so did Shem, Ham and Japheth. So they were the progenitors of those ideas of sons of Lamech. But the knowledge of the culture of mankind survived through Noah and his sons and the wives and continued to pass on. So in a sense anyway, which probably remains true, Jabal remains the ancestor or the father of those who live in tents and have livestock. And Jubal remains the ancestor or the father, the, the figure of fame of those who play the lyre and the part lion pipe, and Tubal Cain remains the father of a figure from the giant of the field of those who make all kinds of bronze and iron tools. So uh, they did indeed die out in the flood, but their legacy lived on. Their bloodline did not live on, but their legacy lived on. Sons of Lamech.